first company in the Midwest U.S. to specialize in industrial magnetic solutions. Storch will open your eyes to magnets and their capabilities. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm your host, Taylor Whitaker, from the MadeInAmerica.com trade show and convention. Joining me now is president and CEO at Storch Products, Matt Carr. Welcome, Matt. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. We're here at MadeInAmerica.com trade show and convention in Indianapolis. What are your thoughts on this event so far? Well, I think it's an exciting opportunity for manufacturers that may have used digital marketing in the past to be able to, to come into a organization of Made in America that's celebrating quality and mm -hmm. celebrating things that are made here. Uh, we never stop making product in the United States. Storch has been around since 1952, mm -hmm. but it's exciting to celebrate this rebirth and all this reshoring. And I, I like this idea of the trade show. You almost, you kind of alluded to it before that that need for tangible space in which to kind of showcase products, um, highlight what's being made here in America, and and give people like an actual thing to hold in their hand to touch, to see that manufacturing in real time. Right. I think I was lost. We all went to this digital age, right? It was really nice to be able to say you're online, you've got a presence, your customers are seeing that, but what they don't see is American ingenuity and American quality. I haven't found a really good way of showing that in a website or through a handout piece of literature. So coming back to trade shows and having product that has this wow factor that's exciting and it's got quality and the welds are perfect and the metal finish is great and fantastic paint, it then just delivers like it should uh, to last generations like everything used to be. Uh, mm -hmm. it, this is the place to do that. It's companies like us that never stop doing that have an opportunity to showcase here. Exactly. And Storch is, is involved in magnets. Right? I mean, that is your, that's your claim to fame. And you, you mentioned that wow factor before, and that's what you're all about. You're, you're about wow factor when it comes to magnets, what they can do um, from sustainability to, um, I mean, working with law enforcement, you can use magnets in that, that category. Um, so talk to me about Storch and, and what you guys offer your customers. It's hard to boil it all down uh, into something that's 30 seconds, but sure. the easiest piece is this. Storage Magnetics offers the world's strongest magnets in virtually every category. Mm -hmm. That's our claim to fame. Uh, this year, Storage will ship its 200 millionth magnet since 1952. Wow. So we have testing facilities in site in Livonia, Michigan, where we can test inbound product mm -hmm. and make sure that it's exactly the specifications that required by ISO and, and, yeah. and different standards for different tier one manufacturers stateside and we're one of the only companies that does that. Mm -hmm. Outside, we take those raw materials and we make products that suit virtually every industry, like you said. So we're in recycling, we're in mining, uh, we're in metal processing. We're well known for magnetic conveyors for pulling iron chips out of machining centers and out of the coolant so that mm -hmm. can be nonstop filtered and recycled. But one of the neatest, exciting pieces that we have together now is our Super Mag product line. Mm -hmm. And we're pulling hazardous metal debris off of every surface that we live on. Mm -hmm. So. Roads that we drive on have hazardous metal debris, whether they're nails, metal stamping scrap that's going back to a recycling yard, or something that's causing flat tires. Flat tires are at a rate of 220 million a year. You're, you're Seven, talking to a Hoosier right yeah, here. We've yeah. got construction up the wazoo right? everywhere, yes. And it's a problem. So mm -hmm. everything's green these days. We're going recycling. And we realize there's a tremendous amount of tires that are being wasted. Right. And companies like Michelin and Tweel that are working with Storch have already gone in the direction of an airless tire. That's going to be the future of tires. So it shouldn't be shocking to tire companies that uh, mm -hmm. this magnet's going to put them out of business. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to make it safer. We're trying to prevent injuries on the roadways. So Super Mag fits on the front of a county or municipal truck, and it sucks all that debris up off the shoulder. Mm -hmm. It keeps us safe, and it makes everybody more productive that's doing roadside maintenance. Yes. Okay. We also are pulling hazardous metal debris off of athletic surfaces mm -hmm. with turf mag. Mm -hmm. And the turf mag is finding bobby pins and track spikes and little cleats and all sorts of debris. Screws and a helmet Scre on a football helmets, you, player. It's, it's right. unbelievable, it right? It is. And it's a service that we're providing as a company mm -hmm. directly to all sorts of different uh, collegiate levels. So whether it's college or that's high school, mm -hmm. we're interested in trying to help out at Storch. And then we've got the product that we've debate, debuted here Yes, we're, tell me about that. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. And it kind of falls in line with the wow factor that you like to deliver to your customers. Yeah, so Storch offers a, a fishing magnet. There's a little bit of a craze where people are taking small neodymium magnets and they're throwing them off of bridges connected to ropes and they're collecting hazardous metal debris or objects like knives. We've seen some sensational mm. videos about knives mm -hmm. and guns. I wanted to build the world's largest and strongest fishing magnet. So we debuted that here at the Made in America show in Indy, mm -hmm. and it is 108 inches wide and has a capability of lifting a couple thousand pounds. 
And we found that this will be a device that's going to assist law enforcement for looking for mm -hmm. weapons that might have been discarded, as well as keeping beach areas clean and mm -hmm. safe. Uh, there's fish hooks and there's screw off tops on sandbars where we all spend time partying mm -hmm. and hanging out. And I know. There's just a, a nice way of getting it cleaned up. I'm not now. just counting the plastic straws that everybody is hung up on, but I right. mean, come on, the, these metal, these metal fragments that kind of end up near us still, you know what I mean? Like they could end up in our products, end up in our bodies. So that's a big deal. Yeah, the truth is a lot of people have either had a flat tire or they've had a laceration because they've stepped on right. something or gotten poked. And we've got solutions that really help with all of those. And finally, Matt, I think there's an understood responsibility when it comes to slapping a made in the USA sticker on your product, on a package, right? You're, you're transcending yourself at this point. You're transcending your company even mm -hmm. and, and, and bearing the image of your country and the capabilities that it, that it has. Does that ever weigh on you? It, it does. Um, I think the turnaround for our company yeah. where we really started to see growth was recognizing and going back to the roots and making things the way they used to be. Right. I'm a hot rodder. Mm -hmm. That's my passion. When I put that aside and put it all the focus back into the company and hot rodded the product line, mm -hmm. if you would, made sure the paint finish was show ready mm -hmm. and made sure the welds showed the way they needed to, exceeded every customer's expectation, everything looking at it. I want to break next. That's the thing. I want someone to yes. walk by and go, wow. It's got right. to be like a hot rod. It it's, needs to stand alone and be exciting to yes. see. And that's the difference. That's what Made in America is. That's, to me, that's what storage is going to lead with. Awesome. Making magnets so exciting. I love it. it. Making them here in America, too. I love it even more. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for your time. Thank you for watching Comcast Newsmakers here at the MadeInAmerica.com trade show and convention from the Indianapolis Convention Center. I'm Taylor Whitaker.